in order to give estrogen, uh, it must be counterbalanced with the appropriate progesterone. So the two, the two hormones go together. Uh, progesterone prevents endometrial cancer, and as a matter of fact, uh, there's a bioidentical progesterone, which is approved by the FDA for exactly that uh, indication, uh, which is to prevent endometrial cancer. However, the drug industry uh, could not make money on progesterone. It's a natural hormone. It's what uh, occurs naturally in the human body. And so they came up with a chemically altered version of progesterone called a progestin. And the most uh, widely used and what most well known progestin is called Provera, which is chemical, the chemical name is medroxyprogesterone. It's a chemically altered version of progesterone. This, is, uh, this was then added to uh, Premarin to make a combination hormone pill called Prempro, which has the, the Premarin and the Provera combined together in one pill. Uh, this was invented in 1995 and was widely used, uh, FDA approved, considered safe, and given to millions of women. However, for very uh, shortly after FDA approval, four large-scale studies showed there were problems with, with this combination pill. The horse estrogen premarin and the progestin Provera, the chemically altered progesterone called Provera. Uh, first study uh, which showed a problem came out in uh, Journal of the American Medical Association in the year 2000 called Breast Cancer Detection Demonstration Project, BCC, BCDDP for short. Uh, this study showed uh, an, eight, an eightfold increase in breast cancer for the users, the women who are using the Prempro pill. This was this was um, published in the year 2000. Second study, which was an earlier study in 1996, this is the Swedish Record Review, published in 96 International Journal of Cancer, showed a fourfold increase in breast cancer with the synthetic uh, progestin use. This was published in International Journal of Cancer in July of 96. Third problematic study, published in Lancet, Lancet 2003, this is called the, the Million Women Study. Showed another showed a fourfold increase in breast cancer for the Prempro users. Uh, the, the study that really made the most impact and uh, caused a dramatic change in usage was the uh, 2002 uh, Journal of the American Medical Association publication of the Women's Health Initiative uh, study. This was an NIH-funded uh, study which looked at Prempro in, uh, in uh, 10,000 women over six years, which showed uh, increased breast cancer and heart disease in the estrogen progestin uh, users. Uh, the, this is the group using the Prempro. Shortly after the, this JAMA publication of the Women's Health Initiative, which showed that uh, synthetic women's hormones cause cancer and heart disease, women uh, switched in massive numbers from, away from the synthetic hormones and uh, switched to the bioidentical hormones. This is very significant because uh, we now have uh, a massive shift uh, away from synthetics, uh, which are harmful and cause cancer and heart disease, into back to bioidentical hormones, which are safer and healthier. Interesting that uh, shortly after this happened, you had the massive switch to bioidenticals, approximately 4 million women. Uh, switch. There were 6 million women using Prempro. Uh, out of that 6 million, about 4 million switched to bioidenticals. And when that happened, according to Dr. Ravden publication in the New England Journal of Medicine 2007, there was a 9% decline in breast cancer rates uh, in the United States, in, uh, which occurred in 2003, uh, shortly after the 4 million women switched away from synthetics to bioidenticals. A uh, similar um, decline in breast cancer rates occurred in Canada. This was this is a report published in the Journal of National, the National Cancer Institute, 2010. This was published a year ago, looking at data over the um, 2003, 2002-3-4 period. And uh, this was published by Dr. Prithwish, uh, entitled Breast Cancer Incidence and Hormone Replacement in Canada. and the, his data showed a um, drop in breast cancer rates with, uh, with a 9.6 decline, 9.6%, almost 10% decline in the incidence of breast cancer in Canada 
after women switched from synthetics to bioidenticals. Another important development happened uh, shortly after the, the Women's Health Initiative study was published, and that is that um, massive uh, drug litigation. Uh, there's, you know, for example, uh, there's a Bloomberg uh, news report from February, February of this year, February 2011, in which uh, Bloomberg reports that um, uh, Wyeth, uh, the maker of Prempro, uh, was making about $2 billion a year in the sale of Prempro before the Women's Health Initiative study. Uh, Pfizer, the larger drug company Pfizer, paid uh, $68 billion to buy out Wyeth. So Wyeth is now the owner of uh, Prempro and all the litigation. In February, of this year, Pfizer, who now owns the rights to Prempro, agreed to pay $330 million, it's a third of a billion, to settle 2,200 cases of women claiming that Prempro, which is the synthetic hormone, caused their breast cancer. Uh, and they also claim that Wyeth, the maker of Prempro at the time, hid the uh, information that, that uh, their drug caused breast cancer. Uh, the average settlement was about $150,000, $150,000 $150, uh, paid out to these 2,200 women. And yet there's another 10,000 cases still in court uh, waiting for their settlement of women claiming that Wyatt's Prempro, the synthetic Prempro, caused breast cancer. Okay, we're gonna, uh, that's uh, a quick recap of the history of synthetic hormone use. Uh, we've seen how synthetic hormones cause cancer and heart disease and how uh, there was a massive switch of women away from synthetic hormones to the safer, more effective bioidentical hormones uh, shortly after the Women's Health Initiative study was published in 2002, and uh, additional reports now show that there was approximately 9 to 10 percent drop in the incidence of breast cancer because of that switch. Uh, and we're going to take a short break. You're listening to Dr. Jeffrey Dash, Staying Healthy with Dr. Dash. Uh, we're going to take a short break here. Don't go away. The best is yet to come. <laughs>